Oh, oh, oh. Sasquatch Prospect here again for you guys. We just hit the crow's nest. Just leaving Vancouver here. We're on the crow's nest now. As you can see, it's gorgeous. We've got no traffic, no snow. Hopefully, we've got some snow up there in the mountains, but uh, right now, we really are not too bad. Oh, this is glorious, man. This is what you want. Nobody on the road. Decent weather. Well, this is Skag and Bluffs, everybody. It's not looking too bad right now. It's pretty good for snow. Knock on wood. You can see the drop into the abyss there. It's a good chunk of road, though. I like the Skag and Bluffs. It's nice. This is what gave them a ton of trouble built the highway back in the day. This was their really, really big chunk of road. You spent the nastiest chunk of part of this road of the crow's nest. Like, you won't find too much, anything too much worse. It gets a little airy when you come out from there, but this is this is probably the worst chunk. It's a good little chunk, I think. Nice and easy, just taking her slow. Hey, that's the sign tells it's slow, right? Yeah, well, we got some snow on the ground now, so I wonder if Copper Mountain's going to have snow on it. It most likely will, because it's high end on the mountain. So, we got snow, though. As you can see, looks like it might have just dropped a couple of days ago too. Some snow on the trees, yeah, a little bit, nice. So we can see it's melting now. Not freezing, I've read, but it's like two degrees, so. Vermilion Forks, as it used to be known, it's known as Princeton now, but King Edward was coming. He was coming to visit, so they wanted to address him to lay in the town of Princeton. But it was Vermilion Forks, Forks of the River. So this is Princeton, guys. See you so these Grand Forks, Merritt Kamloops, there we go, we pan for gold here. Princeton's one of the few places that you can pan for gold in the town itself. So, you know, not many places where, you know, got, like you can just go right in the middle of the town, the river that goes right through town, take a pan and get some gold. Princeton was one of the few places that you could actually do that. Guys would go pick up a penny weight and stuff and we'd go get dinner from the river and so we did. And you can get gold and flat, one of the only places in British Columbia that you can get gold and platinum out of the same river tulamine river i'm assuming they princeton is at the confluence of the tulamine and the similkamine so you'd potentially get some platinum right in the middle of town there right it's pretty pretty good so make some money so anyways this is princeton quaint little uh quiet interior bc town so we've left the coast mountains now you'll notice it'll be much more dry and arid here thompson plateau area. and princeton's kept some of the uh, the original architecture of the buildings you can see here right it looks pretty frontier townsy. Britson's a great little town. So this is the Tulamine River, guys. It's the only river in the world that you can pull gold and platinum out of the same place the same pan. Um, there's a place in Russia that you can pull platinum out of, but not gold. So you saw in my video there when we were panning Princeton, we got some gold and platinum, and we were at the confluence of the Tulamine and the Similkameen River, which is why we were able to get it there. But typically you have to pan only the Tulamine River to get platinum if you want. And at the time, they didn't realize that platinum was worth anything. So Granite Creek, which is where we are, Granite City is the nickname of it, which is what you see here. It's a true ghost town now. That's Granite Creek, and then that's the Tulamine River, and this is where it joins, right? In Granite City, all within here was Granite City. It used to be the fourth largest town in BC. And the platinum, so they were pulling platinum out of the Tulamine here. And back in the 1800s, platinum hadn't gained any value yet. Like it wasn't, they knew it was worth something but they didn't really know at the time that it was gonna be worth what it is today. What they did was they planted it all in containers and stockpiled it. Enough years pass, economies change, life moves on, platinum became valuable. So people had heard that platinum was a resource, right? That, and there's platinum here. So what did they do? They came here and Granite City got dug up. All the buildings were destroyed, it was raided. Everything was lost and now all the really remains of Granite City is the tailings piles and you know an old dredge foundation a concrete foundation some couple other little remnants but not much remains guys because all there was all these canisters of platinum and they were looking for it and they obviously found it as you can see people have been quite busy here all along Granite Creek here tailings pile here tailings pile 
and some of these tailings piles are just massive. They were dredging all through here. What they would do is they diverted the river. So what they would do is they would, they'd have the dredge in here and they'd want to move the dredge around. So what they do is they block the river off, flood all of in here. And then you could see those, there was cables, there was cables, old deck lines. What they would do is they'd have two deck winches on the deck of the dredge and they would find tree poles spaced however far apart and then they would put one cable there and one cable there on the tr each tree and then they would pivot slack one line off tighten another one and then they'd have spuds on the back which is big metal poles basically that go on the ground hold the rig in place and that's how they would move it and then they would reflood the river in the next section by diverting the river whenever they had to go dredging right so you can see there's a, there's a tailings pile here right massive tailings pile guys just walking along the Tulamine, but and you see how the sand's all red? That's all from iron, iron oxide, which is good for gold. But yeah, look at this tailings pile, massive tailings pile, like absolutely massive. It's like 10 feet, 15 feet high, and it goes for a long time. Yeah, all the way down here. All the way down here. This is the Tulamine, platinum and gold in here, and then that little river that's at the confluence of the Tulamine and the Granite Creek is Granite Creek. Another tailings pile. These are all tailings, guys. Lots of rock here in Colmont. And Colmont was the town that helped serve. Well, Blakeburn was its own town, but Colmont was the town that helped service Blakeburn. And look how long this tailings pile goes, guys. Like it's like they go for quite a bit. And this was all dredge, cutter suction dredge. Like, look at it. This is all tailings, all of it. Granite Creek, used to be one of the biggest towns in BC, guys. 4,000 people. They were, I don't know if you'd pull any nuggets out. It's all gone now, they got all the core stuff, but they used to pull nuggets out of here. Quite big ones, in fact. Some of the beefier ones in BC came out of here. Yeah, and then I just like preserve the stuff on video. What's left of it, right? <laughs> yeah, before it can disappears forever. Yeah, so there's a cable for a deck line. See all the dowels. What's left of the dredge burned down. So this dredge would have been responsible for all these tailings. This is Granite City, the dredge in Granite City, guys. So Granite Creek, otherwise known as Granite City. Mosquito Haven. Yeah, no kidding, eh? Nice stagnant yeah. water. <laughs> Shallow stagnant water. Oh, were they using the cables on the trees, Don? Would they like, they have Pulling deck winches? Around. Yeah, on the trees. Yeah. Yeah, I, we did that with the dredge, the cutter suction dredge in the marina there. Yeah. There's the piles in the marina, you take one cable, and you just pivot with the spuds. Just use a tree. <laughs> Who would have thought, eh? <laughs> I think they must have launched up here and come Yeah, come no kidding. Way. And there's a tailings The tailings there. pile, yeah. I wonder if you pan that, if oh, there's, yeah, yeah you yeah, think, eh? Yeah, gold in there. Yeah. Yeah, they're just looking for the course, right? Yeah, yeah, well that was like up at the Yukon there. We wouldn't go. So to... you may wonder, how did they move these things around here? You know what they used to do? Dam up the river, flood it, and you position the dredge. <laughs> That's crazy, let the man. the dam go. <laughs> I don't know why people are cutting down trees here. I don't know, it's a forestry. Oh, I noticed that too. Well, because yeah, you see these these cables here. This cable, that's that was the first thing that like made me think they were pulling themselves along with the trees. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the only that's the only reason I could see why you would have that. You right? can see it burnt down. They set it on fire, right? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody did. Oh man, people, man. <laughs> yeah. Got set on fire too. <sighs>